Hello everyone, welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary with me Flick, and as I was getting a couple of levels off camera, I forgot that there is actually a part back here that I didn't fully explore. That's the first time I've seen them reverse before attacking. And I've been killing a few of them right now. Oh, is that all that did? I was worried about you ramming into me and doing a tiny bit of damage. Yeah, I forgot about over here. I didn't fully explore it after using the obelisk here and going in here. So this could just be for items, but... Let's find out. A little bit confusing having to fight upside down, obviously, but I get the feeling what you're supposed to do here is fight along this way, then get turned right way up and get your spoils, I guess. So that would turn... What is... Oh, that's the Jester guy right there. He's the guy who gave me the upside down power, but I could also just jump over and come this way first. So let's go this way first just so I get my items. Is this the secret? No. Yeah, we'll come here and get the items I just earned, and then we'll go back and speak to the Jester Man. The gold despawned. Patch. Oh, the patch set. Is that what he's wearing? I wouldn't be surprised. Class 0 light armor is garbage. Yeah, it'll be what he's wearing, probably. Although I think he's wearing a Jester's cap. But anyway, okay, so we did that. We also got Lightning Storm. Oh, I wish I could use you. And now we'll go do the whole thing again, except this time go where he is, and he might have another brand for us. If, if he does, then I'm glad I remembered this was here. And then we'll come through here and then go have a little conversation with him. Look at us, we walk the ceiling steady on, our hands are reeling, roof, wall, floor, and an upside down door. Yeah. Dragon's High and Dungeons Low find the voice that scares the crows, deep black hell and the darkness there th that there dwells. Island full of wicked things, shattered land and broken kings, ruled ruler rule, heed the wisdom of the fool. Now you're repeating, so you did not give me anything new. Got a crystal sphere, is that a crafting thing? No, that's one of those. Crush it in a sanctuary to convert- oh, right, okay, yeah. I don't know, I still don't see the, the need to do that. Secret? No, not secret. Let's try a secret over here. So that was just to talk to him, but I guess he was kind of giving me a hint about what I'm supposed to do next. So something about crow, etc. Essentially. Hmm. That so looks like it should be a door, but it's not. By the way, because I've I've got a few more points of endurance now, I do have fast or I have normal roll, I guess, with my scythe. But with sword and katana, uh, sorry, shield and katana, still got fat roll at present. I also I, I upgraded the armor off camera, like I said, so the onyx chest piece is up to tier 4, so is the hand, the scythe is up to tier 5, and the katana is up to tier 4. So, doing okay, I think. But sadly, that just was seeming to be a little bit of fluff. So, we, we do have a new direction to head in, it's just I, I don't think I've done everything there is to do here, but maybe I have until I get some kind of new brand or whatever. I'd lost a little bit of HP, and so I might as well do that before heading in this direction. Yeah, so we're out here. He's still not teleported. All right, let's see what's awaiting us out here. Pitch blackness, unfortunately, so that means we're using the torch. Move slowly. Don't want to drop to my doom. Is that a pile of bon bones, rather? Yeah, that's a pile of bones. That's promising. Well, we know if there's going to be a boss, there's going to be a candelabra first. So we've just got to watch out for that. Is that an enemy? No. Oh, shooting stars in the background. That's what I saw. That seems suspicious. What was the point of that dip? Juzu Idewa. Okay, that's a ninja set. I get it. Beautifully dyed tunic of the warrior pilgrim. That's oh, a monk set. Okay, fair enough. It's class zero light armor, and it has zero in a lot of defenses. That's not very good. Yeah, I mean, it's. I guess it might be okay for light characters if you just want to cosplay as a monk. But wow, that's got bad stats. Sanctuary in here. Mm. Alright, well, that's a deep dark pit that goes down. So what does that leave us with up here? Big door. Oh, this is... Ah, right, okay, so... 
Onion Knight mentioned this. He said you can either go through the dome or you can go under it. And he made it sound like going under was easier. That said, I am curious if there's just going to be a sanctuary at the start of this. I mean, hell, it doesn't matter if I die here. We didn't fight anything. Vial of Undersight. A potion of Undersight, the ability to see that which lurks in a dimension too ethereal to be perceived by my... Oh, God. You're not doing a thing like lower... What do you call it from Dark Souls 1, are you? Because that is awful. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. To be able to see the platforms forever, I guess. Well, hang on, let's test. Do we actually stay forever? No. This chest is a monster. Oh, God. Troll chest brings sadness. Whoa, that's a big nasty. Thank you for the warnings, players. Stone alchemist. We can't get through here. There's some kind of church through there. So it isn't that I can't see these platforms, it's that they actually are kind of phasing out of existence. Oh, this is a sanctuary, right? Yeah. Very close to one with no fighting in between, which is a little bit weird outside of the Mimic. But good. Okay. I guess we're, we're going to explore the dome a little bit, but first let's make an offering. And we'll put a... I only have one guide left and there we teleport once. I like having the teleport once. We'll have the guide here. We'll have... Salt bonus in the Sanctuary region. Magic potency is irrelevant. Gold. Gold is irrelevant. Although having a merchant might not be terrible. Oh, we've got two of We've got two of the clerics. Prayer potency. Meh. The alchemist. Magic resistance. That could actually be relevant. We'll summon the alchemist just purely for the magic resist. And we'll take the attack bonus from having a blacksmith here as well because I... I usually just go back to the very first sanctuary if I need a blacksmith, but sure, we'll have one here anyway. And that'll do. I haven't had any new boss souls yet, so I don't think I can do anything particularly here with Transmute, unless having a weapon at tier 4 does anything. Oh, actually, yeah, I can check what the Tachi can change into. It can change back down to the sword? Oh, yeah. I still haven't found any of those amber idols that are needed to transmute a lot of stuff. Diamond Cluster. And 30,000! Bloody hell. Alright, we're not doing anything there for now. So, new sanctuary with a teleport point. Good. So, we can go up there, or... Oh. Amber. Oh! I found an amber idol! So now if I did want to transmute something, I can. Assuming it's one of the things that needs a transmute. So where's my... Oh yeah, off camera, when I was killing the stuff in the red cage, I got red guillotine as an axe. Sadly. It sounded like a, t a katana to me, but that was not to be. No, the katana, um, the scythe isn't even in this list to transmute. And that's a downscaling. Clay mask level 3. I mean, it technically is better than the uh, the pumpkin face. It looks like a, a visor mask, but no. That's just weird. Oh no, sorry, that looks like a Visard mask. That looks like a serial killer mask. I like being the Pumpkin King. I don't know, if there's anything in particular I should really focus on looking to transmute, you can let me know, but nothing's jumping out. Also, all the shields need diamond clusters, not the Ember Idol. Whatever. Well, that actually just leaves us the one route within here to go anyway. Which is up. Oh. Winged horror of some variety. Tough as balls, it seems. Oh yeah, he had a big sparkly death. Now then. Can I? No, but I bet I can do this. Oh, that doesn't give you enough height. Oh, there we are. Stone mage and three vials of undersight. Maybe there is things hidden in the scenery outside of these flashing... Platforms that I should be seeing. Yeah, all right. There is actually invisible enemies. Awful decision. Awful. Also, I used the wrong heal. But yeah, awful. Don't do invisible enemies. It's no fun. It's lazy difficulty. It sucked in Dark Souls, and it's going to suck in this. Oh, there's an enemy there apparently. Oh, I found a flintlock pistol. 
So now I just need to walk through this area doing this over and over. Hmm. The ghost of the player didn't appear. Uh, that told me absolutely nothing. Yeah, just making sure there's no more enemies. Whisper man's ashes. Pitch fire. If you're just going to hover around, I'm going to ignore you. Doesn't do that much damage. Those platforms come back, though, right? Platforms, come back! Oh no! <laughs> there better be a bigger jump in this. Don't worry, I'll wait. Right, still no sign of a boss. Can't make that jump. We can with the wall jump, which is what it's wanting us to use here. Ooh, that was very nearly. Another one of those irritating flying things. Well, hang on. It implies that potentially over here is just an item or something then, so we'll have a look. Hmm. Enemies. 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 Oh, this could be an enemy. Nope, never mind. Scorpion set. Sub-Zero. Level 4 heavy armor. Very, very heavy. Desert Sentry, Royal Guard of that name. Meh. It's way too heavy. I don't know how you could possibly do a full heavy armor build in this. I've been going after a crap ton of maximum load increases. And I still barely have enough stamina to... Or sorry, equipment load plus stamina to use it effectively. Didn't mean to drop down there. I wanted that chest. Uh, I can't get back, can I? No, I can't. Bollocks. Oh good, these guys. I killed one of them off camera because I was determined to. Uh, they take forever and they're absolutely not worth it. So I'll just be running past him, but it bugs me that I missed that chest. Hmm. Oh good, jumping puzzles. Alright, so we have a door up there. I thought I saw a little bit of black so that's what denotes if there's an enemy there or not. No, unless they're a flying one, of course, in which case, just screw you forever, I guess. Oh, he landed behind me, I saw him there. Still no boss. Another amber. Oh, so I guess this is just the point of the game where you start getting them then. Stop going so high. It's annoying. Oh, I exhausted my stamina. There we are. Well, if we do find a boss at this point, it's a very irritatingly long run back. Oh, I saw the black smog there. I saw another one. There's one below me for sure. There we are. Sanctuary below. Wait, already? Oh yeah, it is. Oh wait, no, it's one of those regen ones. So it's not actually a, a respawn point. Oh wait, no, I can't remember if those count as respawn points. So definitely can't make that drop down here. Oh, it's been a while. Alright, well... My preferred method of taking these guys out is usually... Oh wait, there's other cooked enemies here. There's still cooked enemies here. You're taking a lot less damage than the last few I've killed. They usually take, or sorry, they used to take three counters. This one could take more.
It's also you rather you didn't fall off the edge when you die. Yeah, he's gonna take more than three. Jolly good. He shouldn't respawn when he dies, though, assuming he's like the other ones of these. He's gonna take more than four. Oh, okay, well, I got the job done. Goodbye. That was not really worth it. Oh, boss. Uh, so there's a rest point before this, but uh, assuming I respawn there. I've got a crap ton of salt, though. And I don't want to lose it to a boss. I'm not losing two levels. Oh. So it does count as a respawn point for the purposes of the boss. Um, That's awkward. Well... Oh, he responds. Of course he does. I guess we'll just try the boss then. The Untouched Inquisitor. I like your scythe hands. Well, melee damage did reasonable. I assume she'll do a lot of damage with those, so I'm being a little bit cautious about her. Yeah, did a lot. Thunder, so she did something different. Oh, you can roll through them. Okay, you just got to time it right. Oh, that's much easier. Okay. I was assuming you couldn't roll through them. So this is a boss where evasion is, is king. Which is a refreshing change, quite honestly. If I was blocking, I don't think I would have done this. That was piss easy. Good! So now we're up to 30 grand. A ladder dropped down. Ah! Hang on, I'm being chased by invisible enemies, I think. The untouched Inquisitor's Ashes. So that will make a weapon of some kind. Oh, we can open it from this side. Uh, I think. Was that? That was an invisible enemy taking a swing at me there, right? Piss off! Wherever you are. Why can't I grab hold of that platform? There. Grief. Another crystal sphere. These, these platforms are dodgy as hell to try and grab hold of. Oh, yeah, there was an enemy. Another knight up here. I can't really be bothered counting him and countering him another 15 billion times. So those are very clearly platforms. Maybe I have to use one of those things that's been given me. Let's use one and see. Nope, that must mean I need some kind of brand to make platforms that aren't visible. visible. Oh look, hang on, yeah, Ugh, they look weird. Right, I need you over here so I can jump to that other platform, please. Over here. Over here. Right here. Thank you. Predator set. Plate armor of the Hornets of the Hornet Steel? Yeah, that's what that says. From the Dome of Forgotten. It's class one heavy armor. I'm currently wearing class two, right? Yeah. Looks nice, it weighs less. Not as good defense, no thank you. So I just have to drop here now, do I? Yep. 
Oh, all right. Well, those bloody potions were off real quick. All right, I'd rather go back to the proper sanctuary then, since we can get through the shortcut over here. Oh, I've missed an item here. Oh wait, no, it fell from above. So that's where the mimic was, and then we just go up here and we're at sanctuary. So I am still curious what the route underneath this place looked like, but to be honest, that boss was like the easiest one we've fought yet, so I can't imagine it's easier than that. And we're gonna get ourselves a few levels. Very good. So we're up to what, 48? Yeah. So we have four points to spend, and I believe over here we have access to class 4 heavy armor. I don't think I'm ever going to have the load limit and stamina to warrant wearing class 4 heavy armor, but it also gives you 4 points of endurance, and that's kind of like the main thing I was looking for here. It also gives you access to more willpower, more equipment load. It just works you towards class 5 heavy armor. Oh, another heal up there. What's up here? Class 5 great swords. Class 3 great swords. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to switch to uh, class 4 heavy armor, but I want the extra points of equipment load. So does that mean in sword and shield mode now I have... Yeah, 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 I've got normal rolling both now. Good. Okay, that's what I wanted. And, oh, we're still very close to another level. We might as well just get it. Bag of salt, bag of salt, bag of salt. That's enough. I do want more dex though, I did notice that my dex is very low considering I'm using nothing but dex weapons. So we'll go to Tree of Skill and we'll find a point of dex that kind of heads us in the right direction I guess. I, would mind, I wouldn't mind. I would mind more stamina. But the dex side of the tree is kind of like the other side, so hang on, let's, let's get over here. Uh, oh, I, I, actually I should probably just... I'll take the point of strength just because I want access to class 2 reapers. Getting access to that skill also gives you two points of dexterity anyway, so that's fine. So hang on, getting this improves my attack to 50.6, and then getting this would improve it to 50.8. I actually think it will improve it more than that, but it isn't taking into account I'm using a dex weapon right now. Let's see if this changes from 50.6. Yeah, 51.6. And that was a point of strength. So I need two for that. And I'm left with not enough money to do anything. Okay. Now, there wasn't really, a, there was an exit on the right, but it was past a jump that I can't make, so I assume I need another brand for that. And I don't think there was any other route here that I, maybe there was another route up here. That's an item I missed. Rowan Crozier? Or Crozier, I guess? Sounds like a headpiece, maybe? Nope. Um, weapon? Oh yeah, it was a weapon. It's a class 2 staff. Well, if you're after a class 2 staff, there you go. So is this not... Ah, oh, there's where I was before. Drowned idol. What am I drinking to be able to see ghosts? Probably absence. So it looks like there should be like a, an obelisk here, but there's not. And I can't work out how to get past or how to see those. Yeah, I wasn't aiming for you, Mr. Knight. I was just aiming for the ghosts. So, we go across here. Oh, the elevator, of course. Alright, well, we'll see where that goes, I guess. Oh. oh, it's just an archer. I thought it was like a giant demon thing. Alright, hang on. So there's a few different things we can do here. Oh, that is the guy I dodged before, right? Because I had I fell down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't get up here before. No invisible enemies. Yeah, that's where I was before, down there. So... Good luck. Oh, jolly good. Alright, what's it good luck for? No invisible enemies. Beware of lightning damage. 
Oh, there's, a, there's another boss straight away. Ah. A lightning damage boss. My lightning defense is pretty bad, if I remember correctly. Or does it just count as arcane? No, we know lit defense is lightning. It could be better. Um, pff, Screw it, yeah, okay, we'll try it. The third lamb. My god, you look weird. The bastard child of a Quirapeco and a Devil Joe. Look at your weird hand! Yeah, that's, that's reasonable damage, I suppose, for a boss. Oh, except when he has, like, crappy shockwaves and bullshit like that. Damage-wise, I, I guess that's okay. I really hate the bosses send you just flying. With every attack they do, essentially. Well, that one didn't do any damage. No, I'm not quite doing enough damage to this guy, because... Not compared to the other boss, that's for damn sure. See, what is the point of having a roll when you just give a boss a shockwave after a jump? It's really not good. It removes the point of having it. I'll try blocking, why not? Yeah, giving bosses like weird shockwave things is, is really bad. Don't do that. Should have stayed close to avoid that damage. tell he's almost dead because he's spamming. Also a lot of stuff does way too much wounding damage which is also not a mechanic I particularly like against bosses. That The Wavern was definitely the worst offender for that. The fire was just taking up ridiculous amounts of your maximum HP like it leaves you no option. Ugh. Wait am I actually poisoned? Oh yeah. Yep, that's fun. I need a bit more damage and I can kill this guy relatively easily. I'm just going to get... Un I don't have the endurance for it right now. Blocking does seem to be the only thing that works against this guy because you can't roll. He's got too many attacks that go around rolling. Piss off. Can I just do that? Nope. Oh wait, apparently yes. Screw you, game! Oh wait, no, it did actually count me as dying. It shouldn't have, I teleported. Alright, we're not going to that boss again, because it's not very good. Uh, I'll wait until I have a bit more levels so I can just tank it. Let's go... Actually, what are we at here? We're at 28 minutes. Uh, I'll go have a quick look underneath the... This place. Yeah. Don't give bosses shockwaves to make rolling pointless. Don't make every one of their attacks do massive wounding damage when you can't avoid all their attacks. Makes it seem like you're being a little bit lazy. Again, I've got no salt, so who cares? Let's just run in and see what's here. A whole lot of nothing so far. Oh, a weird glowing red door. Ah, so I can't even go this way. Um, nope, can't think of anything I have that would remove this. Did I miss a way back here? Nope, no secret. So, the game didn't actually give you a choice. You just have to fight the boss, I found. Unless there's some kind of power-up back in the red cage area I didn't get. Well, in that case, I'm going to have to end this one here because I need to go just farm up some levels to have enough endurance to tank that guy to kill him. There's no other way to defeat that boss as far as I can tell. Oh, unless you make yourself essentially immune to lightning damage, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'll go do that. I'll go farm the red cages some more. Maybe also see if I can find an alternative route. Actually, before we do stop, what did the soul from that new boss give me? If anything. Uh, nope, nothing there. Change a spear, maybe? The Untouched Inquisitor. Was that her name? 
I've already forgotten. Either way, maybe. That might make it into the Headman's Volge. Is that a scythe? No, it's a poleaxe. Alright, anyway, we'll come back next time and hopefully I'll be a uh, suitable level to beat that boss because I assume it, the game is actually forcing you to. Uh, unless I can get across. I'll have a look and see if I can get across that gap off camera as well. Anyway, see you next time. Ta-ta for now.